Evast mateys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up We Like Guns on MAME. Arr! You will need a few things before we get started. First will be the Mayflash wired or wireless dolphin bar. Links provided below. Second, a pair of Wii controllers. See link below. For the last item, I would recommend purchasing handgun mounts for the Wii controllers. See link below. Let's get started with downloading the touch mode software. Link provided below. Double click the download and go through the install process. The touch mode software will allow you to connect and change your buttons layouts for each controller. Before opening the touch mode software, you will need to plug in your dolphin bar and pair your Wii controllers to your dolphin bar. Click the pairing button on the top of the dolphin bar along with pressing the pairing buttons on the controllers. You should see the player one, player two position lights turn on for each Wii controller. The Mayflash dolphin bar comes with a setup instructions as well. Now open the touch mode software. You should see your controllers connected. If not, just pull the trigger on each gun until you see them both connect. Go into the settings and check all the options you want when starting up the program. I'm going to check them all. Click on the controller config. Make sure your layout is set to default. You can always set up a new profile by clicking the plus symbol. Also make sure the checkbox for available in layout chooser is checked. Set the outputs to 360 controller. Now you can just drag and drop the buttons you want to each controller. For the pointer, it needs to be either set to left stick or right stick. After setting up both controllers, exit out of the controller config window. Sometimes this program will not load at startup. To fix this, just go to start, type run, type the provided lines, and then click OK. Right click on the shortcut for the touch mode software and select properties. Click on the compatibility tab and set the program to run as administrator. Then copy the shortcut into the startup folder. I found out that if you have an older version of MAME or MAME UI, it will have issues mapping your Wii controller. So let's download the newest version of MAME, link provided below. In this example, I'm going to show you MAME UI. I just like the interface better than MAME. After extracting MAME UI to your computer, we will need to create a MAME.ini file for changing some controls. Instructions provided below. Click Start, type CMD. Right click and run as administrator. Copy the full path of your main UI folder. Type the provided line and then enter. Type the provided line and then enter. You will see the main.ini file appear in the main directory of your main UI folder. Open the main.ini file and run a search for joy. Locate the joystick dead zone section and change it from 0 0.3 to 0. Save and close. Make sure all your ROMs are placed inside the ROMs folder. I only placed a few games in this location for this tutorial. Note you can have an older set with the newer versions of MAME. If you want to set up MAME with LaunchBox, check out my video on setting up MAME on LaunchBox. Now run the MAME UI 64.execute file. I'm going to run the game Aliens 3 The Gun. On your keyboard, press the tab key to enter the menu. Go down to the input for this machine and press enter. Start mapping your keys. Button 1 will be for your trigger and button 2 will be for bombs. Note, not every game has the same amount of buttons to map. For the X analog, click enter and scroll your first Wii gun from left to right or vice versa. Now for the Y analog, click enter and move your Wii gun up and down or vice versa. Let's also map player 2. It can be a pain in the ass sometimes to map the X and Y axis. 
To clear the settings, click enter and then escape. If you see more than one key mapping in this section, you can always press enter and try again. Map your coin buttons and click tab to exit. Now you're ready to play the light gun games on MAME with the Wii controllers. It might take some time to get this set up correctly, but it's a cheap alternative to aim track light guns. You can purchase a Dolphin Bar and two Wii controllers for under $100, compared to just one aim track light gun ranging from $95 to $120. Going to make more videos on setting up Wii light guns on other emulators like Sega Model 2 and Techno Parrot. If you like this video and want to see more, jam the like button, donkey slap the subscribe button, and Rick James the bell for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the RK Pirate sailing out. Whee!